Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm demonstrating a jig that I made to drill some holes in the stem bending for certain canoes. As you can see, the pin dropped into the hole. So now I know that I'm exactly five inches to here. Uh, always check, make sure your drill bit is still going into the hole that you drilled. And go. There we go, nicely centered holes. <clears throat> so there's a uh, trick to this jig, and uh, the jig was designed to be fairly flexible. Um, the holes are five inches apart, here to here. There is a channel in the bottom, and the top piece here has got a little bit of a chamfer which is created by taking a sharp piece of this that is rounded over and uh, essentially scraping it until it is the perfect depth. The pin just floats loosely in the hole and must sit over the table. Otherwise it just falls through and you lose it. And you have to have your first hole already done up here by the bend. Now, from what I've read, a lot of people prefer to bend these first and then drill them, and that's fine. Um, it works just as easily either way, in my opinion. Um, so, but if you have a lot to do that are the same size, which I do, I have six, which I have six, I have two more to do actually right there, um, then this helps tremendously. And it's just a block of mahogany with a channel that's the exact width or a, a little bit smaller actually than the uh, stem band with two holes drilled in it. Use the drill bit to center it 
drill and go. And you must have a sharp drill bit or uh, it's just going to wander and you're going to have a lot of problems. So again, one more time, just for grits and shiggles. And here is an issue I have run into twice. And that is that you have to clear it. That one's too big. So I'll have to, or actually it's bent. I can see the bend. Damn it. And that's okay, because this one is not. So it has to be straight. It can't be bent, obviously. But uh, a few taps with the mallet will fix that, and I'll be able to go again. All right, <clears throat> so there we go. And that takes about three or four minutes, so that was real time. And uh, the last two are obviously not gonna be five inches. Um, they're gonna be, this one's gonna be centered between this and this. And the way I drilled this is I have the hole drilled exactly the distance from the end that I would like this hole to be. And then on the table, I just have a pencil mark. I line the end up with the pencil mark and drill the hole. And uh, that gets it close, close enough that it is not noticeable without measuring. So again, here we go. See the hole is drilled exactly where I would like it to be. And there are my pencil marks. This marks where the hole should wind up in case there is some deviation from uh, what I have marked. Uh, so that's where the hole should line up. And that's where the end of the bar should be.